Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another episode of Healthy Dinner with Dr. Masaret. I'm Dr. Masaret and the focus of my cooking videos is one and that is simplicity. It's all about how to create healthy, quick and simple but delicious meals for you and your family in short period of time. It doesn't have to be complicated to eat healthy and you don't have to compromise on taste. Here is another example of healthy dish today. We are making za'atar baked salmon with Greek salad on the side. We have salmon for animal protein and the salad is very rich with fresh vegetables and we'll add a small portion of wild rice as a source of grain. Make sure to drop off some comments below if you have any experience cooking with za'atar. It's a popular spice used in Middle Eastern cooking. All right, let's get started. Alright guys, so we're gonna start by uh, baking the salmon. So here what I'm doing is just chopping uh, red onion in circles. Uh, we're gonna use that uh, under the salmon in the baking um, pan. So it will give it a nice flavor. Um, so I'm gonna just chop one medium sized red onion and I will spread it uh, on the baking pan. Uh, before I put the salmon on the top. Okay, just like that. Perfect. So one medium size onion should be enough. Perfect. And I'll do the same thing with the lemon. One large lemon. And also slice them in uh, circles. You don't have to remove the seed or anything. Just, just slice them in big circles. And also lay them down uh, on the top of the onion. And then we'll put the salmon uh, on the top of the lemon and the onions. All right, so the salmon is ready. Uh, what I did here is I removed all the skin on the bottom, uh, washed it, rinsed it, uh, and I'm drying it. So I'm using paper towel to completely dry the extra water. You don't want to leave any water on the salmon. That makes it, um, when you cook it, it will leave some whitish film if the water is not fully dried so it's very important to dry the salmon on both sides and then i'm gonna just um divide it in in portion sizes just just slice it uh, along the weeds uh, in big portion sizes just like that Alright, so once I sliced the salmon, I'm gonna just dab it with olive oil. Okay, I'm using a food brush here, and this is olive oil, so just dab it lightly. It doesn't take a lot of um, oil, you just dab it before you season it so it will capture the seasoning. Okay, so I'm gonna just season the salmon with a little bit salt. Okay, and then I will add a little bit black pepper before I put the za'atar. Okay. 
All right. And then I will uh, just spread the za'atar, which is a Middle Eastern uh, mixed dried spices uh, on the top. You can find it in any Middle Eastern store. Uh, it's very popular. They use it for different kind of cooking. Um, actually, one of my co-workers uh, introduced me to za'atar and uh, I loved it. Uh, so once in a while, I'll use it to bake salmon. It's very, very, very good. Um, so I'll just spread it, or like sprinkle it on the top of the salmon, just like that. It's not very strong um, or like it's not kind of hot spice. It's really earthy uh, taste uh, flavor. Um, so it's, it's not like it's hot or anything, but my kids don't like it actually. So that's why I'm saving a um, couple of uh, portions of salmon without the za'atar because I want them to eat as well. So the rest of it, I'll just sprinkle the za'atar, spread it uh, evenly across, just like that. That's perfect. And then I'll put the salmon on the top of the onion and lemon and cook it for 10 minutes in the oven. And that's it, the salmon is ready. So we're going to also cook our rice uh, on the stove top. Uh, this is mixed rice. Um, so I just boiled uh, a cup of water on a medium size uh, dip pan and then rinse the rice and add it in the water and bring the heat down uh, to low heat and let it simmer for 10-15 minutes while the salmon is cooking and your rice will be uh, ready. So the oven is uh, preheated at 400, so I'm going to put the salmon inside uh, and cook it for 10 minutes. All right, guys, so while, while the salmon and the rice um, are cooking, I'm going to prepare the Greek salad. Uh, to make Greek salad, what we need is a cucumber. So everything is washed, dried. Um, so I'm going to just slice the cucumbers in half moon size. OK, just simple slice. So we need cucumber, uh, we need uh, cherry tomatoes, uh, we also need some olives uh, and some red onions um, to make the Greek salad. And what makes it Greek salad is the feta cheese. So we're going to also add a good amount of feta cheese uh, on the top.
we do the same thing with the cherry tomatoes um, so just slice them in halves and add them in the bowl with the cutting burrs okay it would give it a nice color and they're also good for um, Greek salad I'm gonna also use uh, golden grape tomatoes they are very sweet and uh, also the color give it a nice vibrant color to the salad so I'm gonna use uh, golden sweet tomatoes again just slice them in halves and then just add it in the bowl uh, tomatoes are in season uh, especially for late spring and summer uh, so they're very available they're cheap um, and they're very healthy they have tons of um, vitamins and minerals um, so it's really nice to incorporate seasonal vegetables and fruits when you can whenever you cook so just slice them in halves and I will add them in the bowl perfect So the other thing you need for a uh, Greek salad is uh, Kalamata olives. Okay, so um, they're ready anyway, they're uh, peated, so all the seeds are removed. Um, so I'm just gonna just add them in the bowl. So these are Kalamata olives. Perfect. Okay, the other thing we need for the Greek salad is red onions. So I'm gonna use half of a large red onion and slice them sideways, just like this. Okay, and we're gonna add that also on the salad. All right, next we're gonna prepare some dressing for the salad. So I'm gonna use uh, lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay, one large lemon would be enough. couple of tablespoons of uh, red wine vinegar okay a little salt pinch of salt for test and a little bit of black pepper Right, 
and I'm gonna use some dried uh, oregano leaves that will give it a nice earthy taste so I'm gonna add just one tablespoon of dried oregano leaves I'm gonna just whisk it together okay. once that is mixed um, I'm gonna use extra virgin olive oil and drizzle it very very slowly while you are whisking the liquid constantly so the target is to get um, emulsified um, dressing so a nice silky smooth dressing that is that's what you want to get so you have to whisk it constantly and add the olive oil very slowly that is a key to get a perfect dressing you have to go very slow with the oil just like that. I'm gonna whisk this until we get a nice um, silky smooth dressing and then we're gonna add that in the dressing in the in the salad.
here it is perfect plate have nice fluffy rice salmon which is perfectly cooked and you have your greek salad with lots of mixed vegetables perfect enjoy I hope this video was helpful. If you want to get similar videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell. Also, pass it on to others by clicking the share option. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon with another delicious meal. Take care.